Oh, I feel like I've seen him in a later clip or something. Yeah, let's see, uh, inside, well, you talking about these, uh, Dangerous Hood ones. Yeah, I think I have seen, uh, this guy before. The thumbnails are incredible, bro. Fucking give me some lessons on this shit. Warning, the documentary you're about- So you said, this is your city. I feel like I've seen this one, or at least part of it. Well, it would, it would show if I seen it, like, I would know. Warning. The documentary you're about to see is for educational purposes only. Flint, Michigan is a place plagued by drugs, guns, and violence. This is what life is like in Flint, Michigan. Real discretion. It's, it's crazy, bro, because I didn't, I didn't know it was even like that in Flint, Michigan, bro. I just, I, I heard about the water situation, bro, and I just felt bad about that. Like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even know it was like they got down like that. You know what I mean? I didn't, I had no idea, bro. It's like, you don't hear about everybody, bro. You only hear about the popular locales, you know what I mean? Like, I'm dropping one of the coolest t-shirts I've ever made, a Flint edition. Check this out. Tommy G, Grindhard E, YSR Grams. The last drop sold out insanely quick, so get yours while they last. TommyGMcGee.com. Big dog's gotta eat, baby. Let's go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G, and welcome to Beach. Damn, yeah, yeah, welcome yeah. to Yo, baby mommy, she want my salami. Oh my <laughs> Flint, Michigan is a difficult place to grow up. It's one of the most dangerous places in the country for women. It's consistently a top 10 murder rate city. And nearly one third of all properties in Flint, Michigan are abandoned. That's 22,000 deserted properties. Oh, sure. Flint caught worldwide attention in 2014 for its water crisis, in which lead was found in dangerous levels in the city's water supply. There is no safe amount of lead that a child can be exposed to, and lead poisoning results in behavioral issues, lowered IQ, and oh. aggressiveness. And dis All right, so that's like the one thing I heard about that I was saying at the beginning was, uh, was that shit, the, the water situation, bro. That's, that's what I heard about. I don't know if that's fixed or, or whatnot. You do, you do let me know if that is, but uh, I heard about that, and that's the only thing I really heard about, like Flint. You know, I have never heard anything else besides that. But knowing that there's like dangerous activity or whatever, it's like I'm not surprised. Like especially nowadays, it's not surprising at all. But it's just like it's it's surprising like from there that I don't expect that from Michigan. You know what I mean? But I also don't go there too too often. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think I've ever been there actually, but. <gasps> It's just like, I never heard about it like Despite that. Despite all this, Flint has found a way to shine, a testament to its people and its Midwestern grit mentality. Today, we explore Flint, Michigan. Are they currently still like figuring out solutions for it? Or has is it just like an issue that they're not even tapped in on? Like, or not not continuing to try to fix? Because I know, I know it really be like that. Like, they really don't fix issues and it's sad. It actually needs a change. In with rapper YSR Grams. He's known for his crazy punchlines and hilarious bars. I know you're in fuck cause he got a gun on him, boy, he's still a bitch. I always got a pole like I'm finna fish. First stop, meeting his crew, the Beecher Boys. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? <laughs> Tell the people where we are right now. We're in Beecher, Michigan, man. You got your gun on you? No, I don't have a gun yet. You need a gun man. right now? I'm good, I'm good. Say, I don't want to get my fingerprints on too many things. I'm gonna say, we'll let you hold one now, for real, you straight. If I'm looking to buy a gun, how much do I need to invest? Shit, I don't know, I bought 425 for this little baby Glock right here. We call this hey, boy. damn, bro, that ain't too bad, bro, 425. Bruh. That's not bad at all, bro. Bo City, we call this LSP. Oh, we do this shit though. This is how we coming around here. Hey, right, look, call the dude. Like you gotta confirm the kill. You gotta confirm the kill, man. I've been fasting because I'm doing Ramadan right now. It's more than a religion to me. It's like a way of life. If you gonna convert to Muslim, convert to Islam, you really gotta be on that. Because like you said, yo. Wa alaikum salam, Ramadan, barakat. Like where, I right? <laughs> where I grew up, I didn't even see a mosque when I was a kid. Where did you get exposed to Islam? I didn't even know where to find it. I got exposed to it from uh, stepbrothers and shit. And then a brother I was working with, he introduced me to it for real. Like he helped me take my shahada and took me to the mosque for the first time. And all that. I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the Quran, got a better story. Is this a city where everyone knows everyone, kind of? No, for sure. So we don't never beef with each other. Family. We get out here and box with each other. So would you say this is a city with a lot of love in it? Yeah, yeah. So I'm finna pull you around this bitch. We finna go around this bitch. Then we gonna go to Flint and show you the north side. I, I ain't gonna lie. What they're standing on, bro, is like, it's actually pretty good, bro. I can't even lie. They're like, oh, we don't even like, they don't beef like that. You know what I mean? But when they beef, they box it out and then they, you know, it's done. It's squashed. Like, it's, that's how it should be, bro. Ain't nobody should be up and fire nobody, bro. Like, 
And it's like, for what, bro? Don't beat his ass, you know, call it a day, bro. Both of y'all walk away, bro. You know what I mean? Type shit, like... It's like, it's different when they just start getting dirty, you know, like, Julio Fulio type shits. Like, you know, stuff like that, bro. That's, that's a whole different ball game. You playing with people's family members and shit like that. That's crazy, but I, I do I do respect what they stand on, though. Like, I do. Like, I respect what they stand on with that. In the south side, we're going to show you the gritty side over there. I'm Can someone gonna... explain the water situation around here? Right, Can here I... Water, I ain't worried water about here. Right. Look up there, you see that? That's a butt town That's, up butt there. Town. that's our that's water tower. That's, that's good shit. Yeah. Yeah. So that's got a different shit. water tower. They never yeah. fell through with giving people losses, but people were supposed to get money from that. Like, the first girl who, like, sued, she got yeah. killed and everything. Her lawyer, all type of crazy. The woman that sued Flynn for water got killed? You have a young sister that was 19 years old. She's the first person to make a lawsuit she was recently found killed another man who was a foreman at the water plant killed a few days prior you have some evil people going on in flint right now look at these three people they did it to them they'll possibly do it to you too you feel like the government knocked her off her, and her lawyer got killed look at that we're living in times right now where there's some sketchy shit going on like jeffrey epstein just happened what are some conspiracy theories you guys believe that? in jeffrey epstein the guy that like the child master that had, that had the island that, i don't even want to speak or that nigga weird that shit weird. Bill Clinton went to the island. Bill Gates went to the island. We ain't fing with them no more, man. Oh, I don't conspiracy theories because, like, when I smoke weed, you get and, they, and they get to talk about all that shit, that shit kind of scare me a little I've been bit. Beecher slash Flint slash Michigan lingo. What, what do we got? We say buzz, buzz out here. Yeah, like, look, that's my little buzz right here. You hear me? My little buzz. If I meet you, you, my you my buzz now. You can't. Us. My baby. baby, yeah, they yeah. say my baby That's out my here. Baby. Chatty. No, you gotta get him to say it. It mean you lame. You should have never been born. Oh, <laughs> you should. Oh, Damn. Damn. If someone says that to me, I either fight him or I go home and cry. I pretty much have two options, right? You either blaze his ass back. See, down here we blaze. What if I don't want to shoot anybody? Flame ain't don't mean you shoot him. Yeah, I already knew, bro. Talk about him. Talk, talk about him back. So, like roast him. Yeah, like, roast, yeah. I roast those shoes. Like, well, if you don't get it, bro, you don't get it. But damn, just me roast that boy right back, bro. And that, I wouldn't say it's easy work every time, bro. But that's that, that's better than fucking your life, darling, bro. That's all I can say. Just start fucking. <laughs> don't get too crazy, though, bro. Don't play with your life too much, bro. But have fun, bro. Like, if you call me a child, I'm like, them ugly yeah. ass. Okay, okay. <laughs> them chatty, bro. Them chatty. They really yeah. Yeah. Right there. Like, them chatty right there. Yeah, them kind of chatty. He was supposed to go to the league. He played for Mississippi You can State. Google me. Jamal Graham, you can Google me. You know what I'm saying? Four throws it up for grabs. Intercepted. Now you're in the hood with us, though. We're going to figure it out. I might be a rapper like us. Yeah. Put the camera out. Don't forget. <laughs> that looked like a chatty ass nigga, don't it? Is that like a Pokemon or something? Yeah, this is that glow gang, Chief Keith. Shout out my nigga Sosa. Hey, hey Marcus. You heard I told that bitch? Wait, wait, where the Grams go? Where the Grams go? Let's get it. Hey, y'all, let's ride out. We about to go up to the okay. stove. Coming up to an important landmark. We on LeBeau, man. LeBeau City, man. I know it's Milwaukee has a lot of stuff like this. Detroit has a lot of stuff like this. What's the housing like in the area? Man, the house and shit, they bad. Look at it. Oh, you got hella houses. You think we can go in this? Yeah, I, I probably can find one. You Is there a bando we can walk in? You want to go in a bando? Yeah. I'll take you to a bando. Yeah. I know you said you want to go in there, but we ain't going to try to go into the floor. We, gonna, we can go in there a little bit, but yeah. the motherfucker might cave in. You yeah. Know? <laughs> There's no good actual food. Yeah, there's nothing. That little drive, like just from there, all, like I don't know how far they went or whatever, but. That was like very small, small town. It reminds me of uh, being at home or whatever. It's just small town type shit. Like, that's what it looked like. I bet everybody know each other, bro. Like you step, you step in that town, bro. You immediately like spotlight on you, bro. I can, I can just tell. Nothing for. There's nothing like if you want to get big and strong. There's nothing good in here. This ain't no protein store. You did some shit. You get high. You can just smash some shit. You see? It? Like look, I don't really like these because they don't really got the ones. I really want. I get the red back. But you know, I just grab these, dude. Tell us about Fago. I love these Fagos. I was looking for the. I was looking for the clear. I know what we do with these. Oh, you mix. I know what you do with those. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't tell too much. You know what I'm saying? Don't too much be going on, you feel me? Like, we don't get into it with each other. There don't be no shootouts with each other out here. That's nice, because I would imagine it's stressful if, you, if that's constantly going on. Yeah, because it's so small out here. Everybody know where each other at, so it'd yeah, be a, see, lot I told of, you, a lot bro. of unity, you know what I'm saying? We together out here. And what's the secret to unity? So I feel like a lot of places aren't experiencing that. It's how you raise. Mm. Like, I feel like out here, we was raised, we raised different. Like, we was brought up together. Mm. It's just how you raise, bro. I know it's also the style of uh, Michigan, Detroit, Flint, Michigan uh, music. 
there's a lot of shit talking and funny ass bars. Like you guys are clever and you guys have your way own style. Like they don't do it anywhere like they do it in Michigan. Uh, no, we say what we want and we go how we is. Like you feel me? Shit talk. What? See, see, you can't see. Best believe me, I'm a true OG. From hardwood, get it understood. Uh, I keep love going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Baby, keep going. baby, love. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Like that, he said he from OG hardwood. Bars. Hardwood, yeah. hardwood is a street out here. Right yeah. behind the library. Long live my baby Taz, man. This is my OG right here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if you need. We have backed up. <laughs> She's like, it's my baby, yeah. yeah. Hardwood is right a street here. out here. Right behind the library. Long live she my just baby. Say it, baby. Says, this is my OG right here. You hear me? Long live my baby. Yes. Hey, if you niggas don't know who these two niggas is, you ain't that from the bug, man. Whoa! I remember I was fed up. Where was you? Why like, SR? Where's that Sam for? Young sack runner. What's some other Flint lingo I gotta know? Man, good. If you tell me some shit, be like, I just fed this little freak bitch last night. I'm gonna be like, man, good. I really didn't explain what it meant though. Damn, there's a lot of boarded up shit around here. One, two, three, four, behind us. Five, six, seven, eight. Now this is something I think is really important to explore. How it impacts a kid psychologically to walk outside and see fucking abandoned shit. It would affect me, I know. So all the boards on the doors, those are just abandoned apartments. Yeah. There's a lot of them right here. Wow, it's probably like 20 out here, 30 of them out here. So this building might only be half lived in. Yeah. Are there squatters, like crackheads that try and stay in these places? No, they can't do it no more. They they do it no more. Ain't no squatters, but I ain't gonna lie, there's some dope heads out here. Yeah. They all <laughs> boys. I ain't gonna lie, but there's some dope heads out here. No more. When you were kids, was it like this? No, this used to be filled the f up. Yeah. This whole thing used to be filled up. This used to be called a zoo. Everybody looked at it was the white man standing Nobody out here, you couldn't even come out here because it's a one way in, one way out. You know what I'm saying? It's all Beecher boys in here. You don't even want to come out here. You don't know nobody. What do you even like seeing the city slowly just get abandoned over time. It's fucked up cause shit, know. bro. It's really some nice houses. Like, if I'm a trap boy, or if I'm a get money type of person, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to invest. You take these houses that's abandoned and you buy them and you fix them up and you sell them. That's, what, that's, the, that's what you need to do yeah. out here. Mo was telling me a lot of guys are, are flipping houses right now. Yeah, flipping houses, that's, that's the thing out here. Real estate is something I recommend everyone gets into. The only way to get rich in this world is to own something, whether it's part of a company, a house, a label, your song, a video. If you want to escape the matrix, you have to buy shit. So I, I love hearing that. When we get to the, to the north side of Flint, you're going to see a lot of bands yeah, though. Right up, bro. bro. Y'all need to tap into that, bro. If you're not listening, you need to listen, bro. Skill issue. Buy something, bro. Like, it's, it's good to save money, bro. Don't get me wrong. Good to save money. It's great. But buy something, bro. You gotta have something under your name, bro. Buy something. This is a big, big C talking to you, bro. Yeah, I can do yeah, every show you a whole block. block. They got streets with no houses on them. Yeah. They all torn out. <laughs> I'm no detective, but one thing I'm noticing on the ground, bottles. Which means, what are the chances you think humans are inside of this place? Fiends and shit probably sleeping in there. I know you said you want to go in there, but we ain't gonna try to go into the floor. We gonna, we can go in there a little bit, but I we don't want like, the up. motherfucker might cave in. You, you, know don't, what I mean? you don't feel like falling through the basement <laughs> today? <laughs> Who's the lightest in the group? Let me go in first. If I fall in, I ain't oh, yeah, got you going already do. There's lighters everywhere and shit. Yeah, he got, he got that thing on him ready. Look, look, there's residue all in it. It's a scary movie. But this house used to be a beautiful house. I ain't gonna lie, because I, I went to school with the people, the people who used to stay here. The north side, this how it be. I changed the color of that bitch, that art. Man, a whole lot of dangerous shit. Really the northwest side, though. A whole lot of dangerous shit. He's got exact with the location. He said northwest. Yeah. So what percentage of houses do you think are like this in this area? Just yeah. This house probably two thousand bucks for this house, just like this. Is there how many houses out here like this? Uh, is this a, a whole lot of them. A whole lot of them. Do you guys want to stay in Flint and, and make it nice and recruit people I here, or do you guys want to peace out of Flint? Sure. I want to do the best I can do for so Flint. I reach. Ghost in this <laughs> <laughs> the <center. laughs> No, for real though. It is. Then when they put the crack, they chop that bitch down, put it in the pipe and smoke. I've walked a lot of properties. This is oh, up there on the most disgusting property I've walked. There's shit everywhere. That's grimy as <laughs> we, don't even, we ain't even get that far. Smoke wanna suck my 
the 40. Yeah, they tell them back in the day, beat your grams two for five. Oh, it's a real life story, nah. grams. I had the best head I ever had in my life for 40. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> different strokes for different I strokes. I hope so, yeah. nigga paid for it, but damn, it better be fucking good, bro. Damn. The police drive by, what, do they stop you for it's all that? It's open carry law. They can't this, just walk up on it. It's open carry law. They can't say shit. See, me, I ain't gonna never be worried. I got my CPL. Hey. I'm one of them smart hood niggas. <laughs> Everyone should have that. I recommend anybody who ain't got no record to get you one of these. How easy is it to get one of those? You ain't got no record. You gotta be 20. You they just passed the law where all of your motherfucking record gonna get expunged all the, automatically. So once your shit get good, go get your shit. Hey, look, you a big time vlogger, bro. You gotta be. You gotta be aware. People. People hating, they, they want to take everything from you, they want to see you down bad, bro. I try and show love, so I hope I don't get too much hate, you know? I think you're, you're on to something. I feel like a lot of men should be getting their, their license, because then they're legit and they're good and they can be comfortable. Hell yeah. It's what, it's like 80 bucks to buy it or something like that. Um, like the class, bucks. 60 to 70 bucks. And then you 20, and three months before your 21st birthday, you can apply for your gun license. If you're 21, go get your gun license. I recommend that for anybody that's with a clean record. Don't try to be hood, don't try to be street when you ain't got to be. I got mine, but I ain't gonna show it to you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say this. If you get popped in our hood, you gotta come all the way out here to get to the hospital. All the way. That's yeah. All the way out here to get to the hospital. How long does it take police or ambulance to arrive to the scene here? About 15, 20 minutes. That's a long time. So when they were having the BLM marches, it looked like the, the Flint Police Department came together with the city, like there was a moment That's of unity. I thought it was gonna be. The reason we're here is to make sure that you got a voice. That's it. They did that shit for the news, man. Okay. I ain't even gonna lie. They did that shit for the news, bro. It ain't no fucking police unity with no, no, none of this shit around here, man. Bullshit. So do you feel like police help or hurt a community? Man, they don't do shit. They might they pull just... you over to say they did something for the night, but other than that, a nigga get popped. They gonna take you out the house. Hey, we going on fitting, bro. We out. It's over. Oh, bro. Looks like we're headed to the studio. All right, let's do it. Peace. Bro, they said the feds gotta catch me. Just dropped it dirty. Bloods just slid on the ops. He just dropped 30. This been wrong. A lot of legendary music been recorded here. Vanilla Ice. So music, when it's powerful enough, can change the culture. What do you want the culture to feel from your music? What do you want your impact on culture to be? Fuck the bullshit, get money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Stop beefing. That's what I'm... Bruh, this nigga said, fuck the bullshit, get money. But you know, money is the motivation, bruh. It, it truly is, bruh. Like, bars. It really is. Like, it's, it's, it's the motivation for it. Like, I get it. I understand. I, I know where he's coming from, bro. I understand. He ain't putting not an ounce of passion behind that motherfucker, bro. He said money. I'm from my own. Okay. I come to the studio all the time. I record every day. Basically, Michigan rap is a lot of shit talking. There's a lot of like, fun, <laughs> like funky of bars, funny bars, clever bars. Like it makes you laugh when you listen to it, but it's still gangster as fuck at the same time. You know what I mean? Yeah, you right here with the pioneers. Me and Graham's the pioneers. Yeah. Me, Rio, Mike, we all started this shit. That's Grind Hard E right there. Lil E, you see the chain? What's it like being a young guy? You see the chain? Up in Flint? You gotta get out this shit. This you shit. Like crazy, I don't know. Is it too much sometimes? Like it seems like a lot yeah. of stress. Yeah? Mm. What's your dream or what do you want your life to become? I want a hundred million. A hundred million? That's a lot of money. Okay. What would you do with a hundred million bucks? Right now? Yeah. I'm gonna spend right two million on the crib. That's right, the first thing I'm gonna do. Shit talking area right now. You finna hear a lot of shit talk. I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Zach. Yeah, from high school, but I still break when I'm gonna drop out. Oh my god. <laughs> Little freaky bitch in my ear. This ain't like Zach Efron, bro. I just can't bro. think of a celebrity ugly enough to pull up to oh, put up next shit. to your face. Oh, Oops. Shit. Damn, bro. I need bro. a band, but I got sticks and drums, and we gonna rock out. Somehow I find myself in situations I got no business being in. I'm gonna spit bars. I'm ready. I'm ready. When it's your time, you just gotta step up to the plate. You gotta just go for it. You gotta do it. When you're old, you gotta be able to tell stories about your life. A full green lean to the face got me knocked out. We only have a limited amount of time on this earth. Let's get to business and let's go. <clears throat> I'm going crazy on the shit. Yeah, I'm going kamikaze. Step up in the booth in my name, Muhammad Ali. Okay. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Come back with your next bar. Yeah. That's yeah. how you get the energy. You see what I'm saying? That's why we punch this shit in. Yo, baby mommy, she want my salami. Oh, my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> so I serve it up raw, no games like Jumanji. Oh, 
Oh, oh my God. Half of them knew that did did That's it, our bro. cream we're going at. We're done drawing no games like Jumanji. Pandemic flow, you would think I got the flu. Gamble on myself, you can bet I do a milli. From the mill, killing shit like Buffalo Billy. This makes it official, I guess. The official sack runner. Oh, they f***ed up. Oh, I ain't done. I ain't done time, <laughs> yeah. man. You gotta get the running, man, because we're running this shit up. You hear me? I got this shit jumping like a damn kangaroo. Call me Tom Cruise. Cut, that's the scene. Man. <laughs> shit. You should have said something about lean. Am I crazy? I just spent 1100 on some jeans. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Soon as I come over, get on your knees. Got guns pulled on me by Mexican police. Oh shit. It was scary as fuck. It was scary as fuck. Got expelled from high school, but I still graduated. I wanna drop out. It was it was cool to see uh, you know, a little lifestyle difference, uh, looking at somewhere else that I never actually like thought about before. I never really thought of like uh Michigan as a place to be like Consider dangerous, but it, it can't be. And that's crazy. But it looks like they have a lot of love in the city as well. So that's that's good. Like I can't even lie. It looks like there's a lot of unity. And I'm glad they welcomed him. Like it seems like everybody does. Like those all his videos sound like uh, everybody welcomes him. It seems like I don't think he's had a bad one, but I'm not really too sure. But I might have to watch more videos by him.